there. It's East Grid Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily. And we are here to keep things simple and fun. Are you new maybe to either senior photography or maybe manual mode on your camera? Well, we're here to break up exactly what we do for our camera settings when taking portraits of seniors. And make sure to watch all the way to the end so you can see we have something special just for you. We promise to have you entering your next senior photo session at ease and confident. For the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications for future videos. Okay, so before we jump into all of our settings, we want to talk about our top two lenses that we always shoot with at a senior session. So we either shoot at, with a 50 millimeter lens or we shoot with an 85 millimeter lens. Both of our lenses are Nikon, doesn't matter what you use, but we really like the 50 or the 85. That's our preference. All right, so we're gonna dive right into it. What do we do for our camera settings at a typical senior photo session? So let's start with aperture or f-stop. So we typically like to shoot with a wide open aperture if we can. Most of the time we stick anywhere from 2.0 to 2.8. Um, so we can let a lot of light in and get that blurred image that we really like to see. As you can see here, Olivia, she looks nice and crisp and clear. There's enough light coming in and there's that nice blur in the background. Okay, so let's jump into ISO. So the ISO setting depends on the time of the day. Um, we always like to shoot two hours or so before sunset. That golden hour time is our favorite. So we typically use an ISO of 200 or we will shift it up to 400 if it starts getting a little bit dark, but we really like that lower ISO. And again, we just increase the ISO as it gets darker. All right, as far as shutter speed goes, our rule of thumb is we always double it with our lens length. So for example, if we're using our 50 milliliter lens, our shutter speed will never go lower than a one over 100. And most of the time it's higher than that anyway. If we're shooting with our 85, we will never shoot under a one over 170. We'll always probably go higher than that again. So um, it, that allows for the movement and so things don't start to get too blurry. Okay, and you can play around with that as well. Um, if images start to get too dark and your shutter speed isn't allowing you to increase it anymore and it's really, your camera's telling you, nope, you need to go lower and lower, and you're down to a one over 30 or something extremely low for shutter speed, that's when you need to look at increasing your ISO or possibly adjusting your aperture. All right, comment below with which one of these three has been your biggest struggle when shooting in manual mode. So now we just wanna talk a little bit about what we do and the order of things that we do at a senior session. So we always tend to start with setting our ISO. That's step one. Look at our lighting, set our ISO. Then we go and we look at how many clients are we dealing with, typically one if it's a senior session. So we set our aperture. And then lastly, and throughout the whole session, we're adjusting our shutter speed depending on our settings and what's happening and the amount of light that's coming in. Very rarely do we go back and alter our aperture or our ISO. As it gets a little bit darker into the evening, we might alter one of those. But for the most part, those stay the same throughout the entire session, which keeps it extremely simple for us. One other thing that really helps us get excellent pictures is we use something called an Expo Disc. This isn't for everybody, but we really like this. What it does is we use this Expo Disc in order to correct our white balance. So the skin tones and making sure that those all look accurate, we use an Expo Disc. Um, this can also be done in editing as well. When you're editing the photos, you can adjust the skin tones, which sometimes we do even when we are using the Expo Disc, but we have found that it's really helped speed up the editing process when we're using that. And we've actually linked the Expo Disc that we use below. If that wasn't quite enough information for you, make sure to watch our video on all about camera settings with ISO, aperture, and shutter speed for a little bit more detail. So now let's get into the bonus we have created just for you. So what you're gonna find in this bonus is a little checklist of camera settings that are ideal for senior photos or portrait photos for that matter. And there's going to be some practice sheets for you to do that are gonna force you to get outside, practice in your manual mode, play with those different settings and get really comfortable. 
We've also included an answer key to go along with those. And you can find this free download in the description below. Make sure if you liked this video, subscribe, share with a friend, like the video, so we know to make more videos just like this. All right, make sure to stay tuned for some future videos that we will be putting out, and we will see you next time.